Ivy Valentine subscribes to Mark Yoon, so should you. Enjoy your treat! Wait a minute, what did you say? You want more Naruto Storm Connections characters? You want an update? You want to know if it's still coming out in 2023? I got you, fam. Let's go! We have a new trailer! We do, finally. I would have been watching all of these showcases, all of these different events that like these companies been putting on to see some more news for Naruto cross board to ultimate storm connections and uh, we got one today just like out of the blue out of nowhere uh Bandai Namco released a trailer and uh we have some new characters that have been shown off in this and the confirmation that's still coming in 2023 I'll be showing the trailer uh in the background while we are talking about this and uh just for copyright reasons I don't want to put the sound but <laughs> go check out the actual trailer for yourself too. It is pretty hype. There's a lot of good like music in it and it actually is really good at filling uh, you up with hype. That's all I can even say is just hype. Now for the characters that are in it, here we go. I'm happy to say that earlier on when I was making predictions based on who was going to be in the ba ro base roster that I was wrong and I'm so thankful that I was wrong. Even though I haven't seen up to this part of the anime of Boruto yet, I'm excited to delve into these characters and learn some of their backstory in this new game itself. Even though it's an original story, I will get some tidbits and pieces about these characters and who they are. So I'm excited about that and I hope you are too. We have the karma mode of uh, Boruto and of Kawaki and then we also have a reveal for Jigen. Yes, Jigen. So I know it wasn't like a huge amount of characters that were shown in this, but it is showing that they are going far into Boruto uh, and we're not just getting a mode like we were for the Baryon mode for Naruto. We were actually getting a bunch of later Boruto stuff um, and obviously if you've seen the trail right now, you see all the characters that are in there. It's pretty much going to be everyone that was in the last game too, in Storm 4, uh, Road to Boruto, whatever, the actual DLC with everything included. That's a lot of characters. That is a lot of characters. This game, this game is going to replace Storm 4. <laughs> like, I'm telling you right now. Like, as good of a game as Storm 4 is, I cannot wait for this. If we get some kind of, like, uh, open area, like, hub where we can all meet together, like we did similarly in, uh, our Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, if we can get our character customization back, which it has been hinted at, and I have seen screenshots, but I'm not sure still if that's actual character customization, or if it is just, um, you know, a part of the cinematics or whatever, just a goof, but I'm hoping for the, uh, the former, not the latter, like, I do have hope for this, and the fact that we're still getting this in 2023, well, what month is it? It's, like, mid-June, guys, like, we have, like, what, July, August, September, October, November, and December, we have five months left in the rest of the year, that's less than half a year and it's not going to come out in December I'm telling you that right now it's not going to come out probably in uh, November there's too many games coming out in that time period for Bandai Namco to want to compete with and they know that even though the IP of Naruto itself will sell this game uh, they still don't want to compete with some of the likes of like maybe uh, Mortal Kombat or something akin to that like there's a lot of games that are coming out like Spider-Man 2 They don't really want to touch that, you know, but uh, I think that like we could possibly see a late August release for this uh, if We get a late August release and no later than that. Maybe we could possibly get like October But I think it needs to be in some kind of uh, I don't think September I think September is off the table unless they're doing like a late September after Mortal Kombat has already settled down a little bit, so the people's wallets have recuperated a bit. Um, this game, I'm so hyped for this. <laughs> like, I know a lot of people are too, like, especially because, like, we were told that Storm 4 was going to be the last of the series. And CC2 not only does ec excellent cinematics, when it comes to, like, Naruto games, these are, like, the best of the best. Now, I've said for a long time, and I'll stand by this, that my favorite game of all time is probably Naruto The Broken Bond, but that's probably only because they have co-op in that mode, and it's actually really well implemented with, like, characters even being in the outworld together. So I will always stand by that, how much I love that game. Unfortunately, that's not part of the backwards compatibility thing, so you can't play on the Xbox Series X, but that's one of the reasons I still have my 360. But enough about that. Um, I know zero about uh, these new characters. I don't know who Jigen Otsutsutsuki is. Like, I know of these characters, but I've never seen this part of the anime. I finished Boruto at, like, episode 65. Um, I am going to get back into it. I recently just rewatched all of Naruto and almost all of Shippuden. I'm past the war part now. I don't know if I really want to get into this filler stuff before Boruto, but I might just actually start watching Boruto again. I've done this in preparation for uh, this upcoming game. And I am hoping to play a lot of Storm 4 to lead up to this. 
I'm just ecstatic. I'm sorry, like I'm not usually this hyper, I'm not usually this like crazy and outgoing when it comes to this, but Naruto is like one of my favorite IPs, it's one of my favorite anime. So the fact that I'm going to be able to continue this, and this holds like a really strong place in my heart for like me and my brother particularly, like we played all of them since like Naruto Storm, uh, I mean Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2 on like PS2, so we played every single Naruto game since then together, so the fact that we can actually dive back into this, it's just like, it's really got me at a loss for words, which if you know me is a really insane thing. And don't worry, if you're like new to this channel and uh, you don't like the hyper thing, watch my other videos. I'm not normally like this. I'm just extremely ecstatic about this. Um, I do want to see more. I'm not letting them off the hook. They better give us some better stuff. Like just because it's a side game and not a main series game doesn't get them off the hook for not making this a banger of a game. Uh, I do want to see more single player stuff. I hope that the multiplayer is better. I hope that their net code is improved. There's a lot of things I'm still looking at uh, and still going to try and hone in and zero in on for future videos and future content. But please, if you like this type of video or more comment, uh, content like this, please subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me out a lot. Obviously, uh, less subscribers never helps anybody because most uh, sponsors won't take me seriously until I get a certain number. So whatever, who cares? None of that stuff matters. We're getting the game still in 2023. I'm hype. I hope you're hype. Let me know in the comment section down below how hype you are. There will be a poll associated with this video. So after you're done watching this, um, <laughs> please go and vote on that poll. It'll be based on Naruto. So any other thoughts are always welcome in the comment section down below. And please check out my free Discord in the links down below. And as I always say, guys, I love it. Thank you. And thank you. Dr. Bio.